What's up guys, how's it going? Today I bring you episode 66 of the coolest tech of the month, March 2022. We have another epic episode with lots of innovative cool tech products, a good mix from smartphones, tablets, gadgets and gaming, we've even got a drone and lots more. So please hit the like button and sub to the channel and follow on socials if you like what you see. Now as usual, everything you're about to see will be linked in the description box with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product that interests you. So without any further ado, let's begin with the first cool product. We've got the Realme GT2 Pro and the Realme GT2. All right, so let's begin with the GT2 Pro. Let's get this box open, shall we? I didn't read what color this is, so it's a surprise for me as it is for you. Well, hey. So I like how you've got a white color scheme going on here. Here's the paperwork, the future in paper. Flip this around, here is the phone, and you can see their fingerprint location. Wow, we've got the paper green color. Oh, that's a beautiful looking phone. It's amazing. This is a completely different texture. So first impressions of that design and color, uh, very, very nice. You can see the camera bump, you got the signature for the Realme designer who's come up with this uh, wonderful design. Curved edges going all the way around. This does feel like a beautiful, well-made phone. Um, it feels quite slim and light too. I believe it's 8.2 millimeters, um, 189 uh, grams in weight. So let that switch on, see what else we get inside the box. USB-A to USB-C cable. A silicon case, again, with the Realme branding and signature from the designer. 65 watt super dark charger included in the box. So all set up and turned on. It's interesting how PUBG comes pre-installed. This phone has a 6.7 inch screen, 120 hertz refresh. Um, you've got Gorilla Glass Victus. First ever bio-based polymer smartphone design. It does feel really nice to the touch. I'm liking this. Not fingerprint prone either. Now this phone also has a nine layer cooling structure and you're getting a 1000 Hertz touch sampling rate, which is ideal for gaming. And this phone has a really good peak brightness of 1400 nits. Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM and 256 internal storage, that's UFS 3.1. Micro SD card slot, do we have one or not? So no, we do not have a micro SD card slot. It's a dual SIM 5G smartphone, but we do have Android 12 with Realme UI 3.0 on top. 5000 milliamp hour battery and 65 watt super dark charging. We've got dual stereo speakers supporting high res audio um, and it does also support Atmos. Um, liking that power button design, it's got a, a textured feel to it. And I have to say, I'm loving how this phone looks and feels in the hands. No doubt, full gaming test, full review, everything is coming your way. So that's the GT2 Pro out the way. Next one, the GT2. So straight away, let's get this box open. Let's get the box open. Let's see what this phone looks like and let's see what color they've given us because I have no idea. So exactly the same, we've got the paperwork, the future in paper, and it looks like it's the same color. We got paper green, very similar color. Just bring the other one in. They look identical, the pro on the left and the standard model on the right. So this is the more affordable option. It's powered by the Snapdragon 888. Uh, triple cameras, 50 megapixel primary. We've got a 119 degree ultra wide and you've got a two megapixel macro and a 32 megapixel front sensor. Battery size is exactly the same, 5,000 milliamp hours. You still get 65 watt fast charging. You still get dual speakers with high res audio and Atmos sound. Dimension wise is 8.6 millimeters and it weighs 194 grams, okay. See what else in the box. So silicon case included, same as before. A USB type C to type A charging cable and a 65 watt super dark charger, of course, included in the box. This phone is gonna be cheaper, but it's by no means a budget phone. This is powered by the Snapdragon 888, clocked at 2.8 gigahertz, five nanometer flagship chipset. So you're gonna get a flagship performance from this phone. You've got eight layers of cooling. You've got hyper antenna switching, you got Gorilla Glass 5, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 65 watt fast charging. You've got the dual stereo speakers with high res certification and Dolby Atmos sound. 
So that was a very quick look at the new Realme GT2 series. My full review and gaming test is coming soon on the channel. If there's anything specific you want me to test in terms of gaming, emulation or anything else, do let me know in the comments. We have the eMeet USB volume control knob. So here it is, I've actually plugged it in, single USB-C to USB-A cable, plug it straight into your computer, so it works on both Mac and PC. So the device itself is well made, with a matte black finish on top, and you've got a metal base at the bottom. So rotating right and left is volume up and down, and if you press it down as a button, it will mute and unmute. Now if you download the eMeet link software, you can change the different features of the knob like what the controls do and whether you want the blue LED ring light on or off. So overall it's quite a useful product, it means you don't have to reach out to your remote control or even your mouse. You can control your volume, mute, play pause and skip tracks. Interesting gadget. So here we have the brand new TicWatch GTH Pro. It's made from a metal watch case with 2.5D capacitive touch, a screen resolution of 360 by 320, and you are looking at a 1.55 inch TFT display. You've got Bluetooth version 5, 14 sports modes built in, a 260 milliamp hour battery, which will give you around seven to 10 days of battery life. Now on the side, you've got a power button and a PPG side sensor. So the TicWatch GTH Pro can measure a user's arterial waveforms. They are pressure waves based on the strength of the user's own pulse and when you use this sensor it's going to give you a whole bunch of um, health metrics um, all related to your heart and on the back you can see more health sensors and your charger pins and I'll quickly show you the charger in action. This is a magnetic USB charger, takes two hours to fully charge and it will give you around seven to ten days of battery life. Now the watch is 5 ATM water resistant and you do have multiple sensors tracking your all day health. So we have a 24 hour heart rate, SpO2, body temperature and respiration rate. So all four of those metrics I just mentioned are tracked 24 hours. You can also customize that from the smartphone app. You also have custom watch faces and downloadable watch faces. You've got the Mobvoice smartphone app and it gives you all your health metrics as you can see your RT score out of 100. It lets you know your physical and mental status. You've got activity tracking exercise. Here's your sleep tracking. And the sleep tracking is actually pretty good. If you tap on device, it will give you your smartwatch settings. So you've got your connection information, watch face center. So you can download some interesting looking watch faces, which is cool. You also have smart mode, smart reminder, more features, quickly show you what to expect there. And You've got workout, which is in better mode. So you can initiate workouts with maps. Here are your settings, firmware updates, and your RT score. And that gets updated frequently the more you wear the watch. First impression, it seems well made. And Mobvoi TicWatch's software is always uh, a pleasure to work with. This is the TicWatch GTH Pro. Yeah, I know, it's another one. The Poco M4 Pro. So brand new smartphone. So I am quite interested to test this out to see uh, what is going on with Poco. Uh, with user manuals, we've got a silicon case. Give you a quick look at that as well. The phone itself coming out of the box, Poco M4 Pro 90 Hertz full HD plus AMOLED display. Now I believe this has to be one of the first Poco phones that comes with an AMOLED display. Uh, so that's interesting. Dual speakers, 64 megapixel primary, We've got triple cameras, so you've got an ultra wide and a macro, 33 watt fast charging, and you've got the MediaTek G96. And we also have liquid cool technology 1.0. So interesting design, a massive camera bump, definitely fingerprint prone, and it does feel like a plastic back. So let me put this to the side and see what else we get in the box before we continue talking about this phone. 33 watt fast charger, you can see that straight away. Nice to have that in the box and a USB-A to USB-C charger. Look at that screen guys, 6.43 inch AMOLED, 90 Hertz refresh, full HD plus. Now this has to be one of the first time that I can recall a Poco phone coming with an AMOLED display and it doesn't disappoint guys, 1000 nits of peak brightness. That is one super bright, beautiful AMOLED display. And I'm actually feeling very thankful that Poco has done this, especially at this price point. 
So 6.43 inch AMOLED, it's uh, 2400 by 1800 full HD plus. You've got Gorilla Glass 3 protection, 1000 nits peak brightness. It's powered by the MediaTek Helio G96. That's an octa-core clocked at 2.05 gigahertz. You've got six gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and 128 gigs of UFS 2.2 storage. Now I do want to quickly go to display settings and check out the refresh rate. So refresh rate is either 90 or 60. There is no option for adaptive refresh. Now, do we have a micro SD card slot? I do want to check that out. First thing, first thing I do. Yes, we've got, oh wow. Well, this is a triple whammy. You've got micro SD card slot, one terabyte max, and you've got two 4G nano SIM slots. So you're getting all three in this phone and also, Headphone jack is there guys, supporting high res audio. Also IR blaster that you usually get but with most Poco and Xiaomi phones. Fingerprint sensor is super fast. You've got face unlock as well. This is running Android 11 with MIUI 13 on top and there is an update available. So this phone is giving you a lot for the money. Also, believe it or not, 5,000 milliamp hour battery in this slim phone. It's 8.09 millimeters thick and it weighs only 179 grams, but they managed to stick a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in this and also include a 33 watt fast charger in the box. Now this phone has liquid cool technology. Along with that beautiful AMOLED display, I'm interested to see how it handles gaming, um, specifically Genshin Impact, PUBG Mobile, maybe even a bit of emulation. Um, it is the MediaTek Helio G96, so it's not gonna blow the roof off, but I wanna know how it performs. So stay tuned for more content coming up on the Poco M4 Pro. But as it stands, it's a pretty nice proposition. So next cool product is the Technics AZ60 True Wireless Stereo Earbuds. You've got quick start guides, loads of them, so multiple languages, spare ear tips of different sizes, and the product itself. So this is the charging case made out of plastic. You've got Technics logo on top, USB Type-C port on the back. Open them up and you'll be presented with the earbuds, which are magnetically held in place, so they're not gonna fall out easily. So closer look at the earbuds themselves, so nice looking design. So they are true wireless stereo earbuds. You've got eight millimeter drivers. They support Bluetooth version 5.0. They do support high res audio, and you have combined eight microphones built in. They support hybrid noise cancellation, seven hour battery on a single charge, and a total of 24 hours with a charging case. These do support fast charging, so pop them in the case, 15 minutes fast charge equals 70 minutes of non-stop music. You've also got Alexa built in. Um, they feature easy touch sensor controls and they are IPX4 water resistant. So water splash and rain resistant. So that was a very quick look at the Technics AZ60 True Wireless Stereo Earbuds. So next up we are assembling the FlexiSpot Desk Size Pro V9. Now this is an exercise bike which comes with an adjustable desktop offering you the chance to get some work and exercise at the same time. It's really easy to put together, so simply fold out the legs till you hear them click into place. The pedals are already screwed on, you simply fold them out as well. Now it's time to connect the desktop which is rather nice and large in size. It's also quite a heavy desktop. The entire bike and all the parts so far feel like top notch quality. Just attach the desktop to the front of the bike and it secures in place with one long screw. Now this is the only time I needed a screwdriver when assembling this bike. And check this out, the desktop can slide forward or backwards with a simple press of the left lever and another lever on the right allows you to increase or decrease the height. Now we do have a battery compartment for the onboard computer and it's powered by two AAA batteries. You do get a rubber coaster to cover the battery compartment and you'll be able to use that as a drink bottle holder. And the onboard computer can monitor your progress showing you your time, speed, distance, calories and more. And just to show you how smooth of a ride this is, I put a glass of drink on the coaster, definitely not recommended, stick with drink bottles, but I just can't help experimenting. Uh, you can see I'm pedaling pretty fast and the drink is barely moving. Now the seat is nice and large, well padded and also height adjustable. 
this is not only a super smooth and silent exercise bike, it's also comfortable, easy on the legs and very stable. Love how big the desk area is. It's great for editing videos whilst getting some exercise done and very nice to be able to adjust the desk height and ability to get the desk closer should you need it. You have a nice built-in padded armrest which is a great idea to keep that wrist comfy. Now FlexiSpot have made an incredible product. I'm not just saying it, it's very well made, it's very sturdy and, and it's so well designed with quality parts. This is staying in my living room and will get used every day. FlexiSpot Desk Size Pro V9, absolute legend of a product. Let's see what's next. The Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. So I've got the lavender version here. So on the back, you've got a really nice matte finish. And I'm also really liking how the camera bump blends into the body of the phone. So it does look very well designed. You've got this nice metal frame with rounded edges going all the way around. So quite a well-made, smart looking phone. Quick look at what you get inside the box. So it looks like we've got SIM eject tool, the charging cable, paperwork, and that is it. So no power brick included in this box. So let's have a look at the screen. Being a Samsung phone, you're going to have a beautiful display. So 6.4 inch AMOLED display, 411 pixels per inch, Gorilla Glass Victus, 1300 nits of peak brightness. Um, yes, without any doubt, this is a beautiful looking display. Snapdragon 888 octa-core, 5 nanometers. So powerful flagship processor. You've got 6 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM, 128 gigs of UFS 3.1 storage triple cameras on the backs you've got 12 megapixel plus 12.2 megapixels plus 8 megapixels and on the front you have a 32 megapixel sensor in the center hole punch now this phone has fingerprint sensor face unlock nfc bluetooth um, i believe it's dual sim 5g but we're going to check that right now and make sure so yeah dual sim 5g but no micro sd card slot included also this phone is running android version 12 with one ui version 4.0 on top and you do have 120 hertz refresh but you don't get adaptive refresh we do have a 4500 milliamp hour battery there is no charger included in the box but it supports 25 watts fast charging and you also have 15 watts wireless charging you can expect stereo speakers and also Dolby Atmos sound and this phone is IP68 certified and my first impression is pretty good. I like how slim and light this phone is. It's 7.9 millimeters thick and weighs only 177 grams. So very quick first look of the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. So stay tuned on the channel, lots more to come. Let's see what's next. Next up we have the Backbone controller for iPhone. And here it is guys, in my hands, the Backbone controller grip. This will turn your iPhone into a handheld game console. You can see how far that extends. So it's very well made. You've got responsive controls. You've got analog triggers and the triggers feel really authentic, really console-like. You've got clickable thumbsticks. It's a very nice overall game controller. It feels ergonomic, it's light. You can see here, you've got a lightning connection. So I've got the 11 Pro Max here. You can see how big this phone is and I will insert it just to show you. So that's secure, it's not gonna fall out itself. That is a, a pretty good and solid connection there. And because it's a wired connection, you've got next to no latency when you're playing games. And it also supports pass-through charging. So there's a lightning charger port on this side and you've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on this side. Now this works on more or less all iPhones, apart from the new 13 series, as it has a huge camera bump. Also, it's not gonna work if you have a camera case on your phone. You have to take your case off when you stick it on. So you can see how big that camera bump is. And for that reason, it doesn't hook in to the top part. There is an adapter available free from the Backbone website. So no charge for the adapter and you'll be able to use the Series 13 iPhone. Um, but you have to pay for delivery. So not completely free. It would have been nice if they just included the adapter in the box, making this product kind of future-proof. Now the software is impressive. It's called the Backbone app and you get one year free subscription to use this software. It's basically a hub for all your games. It also recommends new compatible games and it allows you to connect to your friends, um, screen record and play on other screens, etc. You don't have to use the Backbone app at all if you don't want to. You can just ignore it and download 
your favorite games and start playing. As it came with a one year free trial, I thought no harm trying it out. I especially enjoy playing Call of Duty Mobile, Stadia and PS Remote Play. They all work really well. Um, it almost feels like a native gaming experience or, or, or a console like experience. Now you also get a month's free trial to Xbox Game Pass Unlimited. So you can play all your Xbox games directly on your iPhone with this amazing backbone controller. Also, I didn't configure anything. The controller is automatically detected. some stadia he doesn't need to make his movement quite so early well time tackle and he's in and it's there for him and a goal from Cristiano Ronaldo that will be such a boost for him so the backbone controller for iPhone definitely check this one out people next product is the Jobby Wavo Pro and here it is. So new professional on-camera microphone. It does feel very well made and premium. You've got a metal body. Um, this bottom part over here is made from plastic. You've got a cold shoe mount at the bottom. So over here you can see you've got your power button. I've just switched it on. You also have a secondary microphone port on the side. Um, so that's going to be ideal for interviews, etc. Uh, the built-in battery will give you 60 hours of normal usage and with ANR on, so active noise reduction on, you can get 50 hour battery. Let's do a quick mic test. So the audio test is now live. Everything you're hearing now is coming from this new Jobby Wavo Pro on-camera shotgun mic. Um, easy to connect, plug and play, and this is what the audio sounds like. So switching back to my original mic, let me know what you guys think. That was the Jobby Wavo Pro. Tron Smart Bang, the portable party speaker. Right, so check it out guys, here it is. And check out those LED lights going all the way around on either side of the speakers and the lights do change color. Um, really, really nice design. Um, love that solid handle and it's got a bit of weight to it. It weighs around three kgs. Now you've got your controls over here. So NFC, you've got your mode button, you've got your volume control and also skip tracks. You've got play and pause in the middle. You've got some sound profiles and a power button. I'll quickly show you the connectivity. You've got a few ways to listen to music. You've got built-in Bluetooth, you've got a micro SD card slot and an AUX connection. You've also got a type C for power and you've also got a full size USB port. So five volts, one amp, and that's to actually charge other devices. So you can use the internal battery as a power bank. And the internal battery is quite large. We are looking at 10,800 milliamp hours. That's 15 hours of nonstop music. It's 60 watts of power and you've got enhanced bass. It supports Bluetooth version five. Um, there's a lot going on inside this unit, so I'll, I'll explain it to you. You've got dual tweeters, dual woofers, and dual passive radiators, and they look really cool surrounded with lights on either side. And these lights are not static. When you start playing music, the lights will actually move to the beat. The speaker is IPX6 water resistant, so it's basically splash resistant. Supports NFC, supports voice control. There is also a smartphone app for app control. Now, if you've got two of these speakers, which I do have, you can pair them up with each other and give yourself uh, 120 watts of true wireless stereo power. So we're gonna test that as well, but let's first of all do a single speaker test. Here we go. As you guys just heard, we were hitting 91 decibels peak. So very powerful sound from one speaker. But what happens when we connect two? Two Tron Smart Bangs on the table right now. So 
So even on a small little phone like that, that sounds incredible. Imagine hooking this up to a tablet or even your TV. So 106 decibels is very loud. Even in the normal situation, I probably have the volume halfway and even that was pretty loud. That was the Tronsmart Bang Party Bluetooth speakers, people. Definitely check them out. So next up we have the Jesse J20 rugged smartphone. Let's check it out. What the hell? Even the packaging is rugged. So here it is guys, a super rugged smartphone. Check out the buttons, check out the design. You've got a Type-C port which is covered with a latch. Um, interesting color combination. Here's your SIM card tray. So micro SD card slot is included along with 5G nano SIM slot. It's IP68 slash IP69K. Um, it looks military standard, rugged durability. Let's see what else we get inside the box. Some paperwork. We've got a tempered glass screen protector, a USB-A to Type-C cable, and we have a charger included. And I believe this is an 18 watt fast charger. Now the phone itself has a 6.3 inch Full HD Plus IPS display with a 60 hertz refresh and Gorilla Glass 3 protection on the front. You have eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. The phone is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 700. Now this is running Android 11. On the back, you've got triple cameras. You've got a 48 megapixel, 20 megapixel and a 16 megapixel. And on the front, you have a 16 megapixel front camera. This phone is quite thick. It's 14.8 millimeters in thickness and it weighs a solid 300 grams. So it's got weight and it's got thickness. Um, and that is kind of what you expect from a rugged smartphone. Um, battery is also huge, 6,000 milliamp hour battery, but only 18 watt fast charging. So I think that's gonna take quite a long time to charge, but the battery should last you a few days depending on your usage. So very quick look at the Jesse J20 rugged smartphone people it's just tough this product we have here is a smart portable ssd enclosure by dot case um, it's made from metal and it's very easy to connect up it comes with a type c to type c cable but also with an adapter built in so you can convert that to a usb a and you also get a small screwdriver so you can open everything up so opening the top screw and that should be enough to gain access to the internals and that is what you can expect so this supports many different um, m.2 ssd drives and you can see the corresponding numbers and sizes here so i have a one terabyte ssd here it's a spare one i have for testing i am going to install it just securing this in place I've got some thermal pads on there from before, but you have one on here as well. So I'm assuming you can peel this back. Yep. All right. So if we just put this lid back on, so it's one simple screw to open and close, which is easy. All right. So now it's time to connect this up to our computer. So waiting for power state, detecting SSD, detected SSD. So it tells you there how much space you have left. Um, life 100% good power on 72 hours is being used so far and that's probably true I've uh, had this one for quite a long time um, it's a one terabyte NVMe um, 10 gigabytes per second you can see the brand name um, and that is pretty much it so all the information is given to you on screen now the makers dot case are calling this the safest SSD enclosure you will ever need so if there's any issues um, or if there's any problems with your hard drive, it will let you know. So you can make a backup in good time. So this product is designed to protect large amounts of data that a normal SSD enclosure can't do. So you've got hardware power loss protection, SSD health detection, SSD info display. It supports the latest USB 3.2 Gen 2. Um, that's 10 gigabytes per second transfer speeds. This is my daily driver, one terabyte drive that I access on a daily basis, I always need to work from this drive. So let's see how this handles with prolonged use. And I will certainly update you guys in the pinned comment um, if I have anything to share with you guys. So dot case, smart SSD enclosure people. This is the TCL Tab 10S 4G Android tablet. So a very nice and different finish you have on the back. So yeah, we've got a micro SD card slot and a 4G nano SIM slot. So very nice to have that in a tablet. Let's just see what else we get in the box while that powers on. 
we've just got user manuals in there. Which, so this comes with a TCL stylus in the box. So power brick and USB-A to USB-C charger. That is only an 18 watt fast charger. Um, it feels weird to say fast to 18 watts, but it is what it is. Check it out guys, the TCL tablet in my hands, powered on and ready to go. It's a 10.1 inch IPS full HD display. It is standard 60 Hertz refresh. So 1200 by 1920. You have 224 pixels per inch. Now this is powered by the MediaTek MT8768, which is an octa-core clocked at two gigahertz. You've got three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. You do have a eight megapixel rear camera with LED flash. And up in the middle, we have a five megapixel front camera. This supports five gigahertz Wi-Fi. You've also got Bluetooth version 5.0, so no headphone jack included, just a power button on the side and a volume rocker on the top. So no headphone jack. Now I believe this tablet is running Android 10. So large battery capacity, 8,000 milliamp hours. It's very slim and light. It's 8.3 millimeters slim and weighs 469 grams. So fairly compact. So TCL Tab 10S. If you want to see a full review of this product, do let me know in the comments. So this is the Cetus Pro FPV kit by Better FPV. So inside the main box, you have a carry case. I like that already. A nice zip up hard case. Let's see. Wow. Almost looks like a mini Oculus Quest here because you have a headset, you have a controller and you have a drone. So we look at the drone first of all. So this drone is ideal for beginners to advanced users and the drone is protected from the bottom at the top and you've got a built in camera as well. So let's see what else we have. So we've got a headset here. You've got some buttons on the side, USB charging port. So these are basically FPV goggles. You wear them and it works on a five gigahertz wireless connection. You'll be able to see everything that the drone sees and you can fly it uh, accordingly. So that will be very interesting to test. You don't have to use the goggles, but certainly worth giving it a go. So here is the joystick. It almost looks like a game controller. Got a power button in the middle. And you've got all of these flick switches. So very interesting, no idea what they do yet. So I've got to do some reading. So you've got a built-in battery and it's not removable and you need to charge that via USB-C as well. Head strap for the goggles, spare propellers and even some spare parts there. So this is going to be part of your charger. So type C connection and then you plug the batteries in. Here's a USB power cable. We've got two batteries here, 450 milliamp hours and one battery in like that. And the other battery goes into there. So that means you can charge two batteries at the same time. It even lets you know um, how much power there is in the batteries. So that was the Better FPV Cetus Pro FPV drone kit. Definitely had a lot of fun with this one. So there you have it guys. That concludes episode 66. If you got this far, then as usual, do hit the like button and let me know which products were your favorites from the bunch. I'll see you guys again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. Now all the links are provided for you in the description box below. Now don't forget to like and sub to the channel for more cool innovative tech products. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.